Uh, my name is uh, David Notman. I'm a professor of neurology here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, and I am a behavioral neurologist. Uh, I take care of people with uh, dementing illnesses. I'm going to be discussing uh, the review article I wrote with my colleague, Dr. Ron Peterson, on mild cognitive impairment and mild dementia. This article is going to appear in the Mayo Clinic proceedings. This article uh, arose out of a presentation that I gave at a continuing education uh, course. Uh, it discusses the rationale for the diagnosis of mild cognitive and mild dementia. It talks a little bit about the causes of mild dementia uh, and mild cognitive impairment, and it also talks about uh, management issues. The problem of mild cognitive impairment and mild dementia is a very large one, uh, but it's a difficult one uh, for many non-neurologists. Uh, it's uh, a problem that's increasingly common in uh, older individuals. Uh, it uh, impacts the care uh, in all other uh, aspects of their uh, uh, medical care. Uh, the causes of mild cognitive impairment are uh, most commonly Alzheimer's disease um, and cerebrovascular disease. Um, these two can often co-occur together. From a practical point of view, the diagnosis uh, is made on the basis of a history and a mental status exam. Uh, the practical problem uh, with uh, those uh, activities is that they're somewhat time consuming and I realize that that's a challenge for primary care physicians. Uh, hopefully reading this article will give uh, uh, the reader some better perspectives on how to approach that problem but I can't get around the, the difficulty that it does take uh, extra time. Uh, establishing the diagnosis is important especially when either the patient um, or family members are uh, complaining or uh, bringing up that there are significant memory problems. Uh, th those memory problems can um, uh, seriously impact medical care because they can lead to mistakes in medications, uh, mistakes in preparation and follow-up of procedures, um, and they lead to uh, uh, other serious risks like driving uh, in people, uh, dr driving errors in people who have uh, uh, dementia, um, just to name one important uh, safety issue. Well, mild cognitive impairment and mild dementia are usually problems that are brought to medical attention not by the patient but by family members. Unfortunately, loss of insight accompanies loss of memory and it's for that reason that this diagnosis is more challenging because it involves the joint efforts of patients, families, and physicians. If physicians can't interview family members, the story is often incomplete. But a timely diagnosis of mild cognitive impairment or mild dementia uh, for a patient can have important um, safety consideration because it, considerations because it calls attention to the family and to the physician that increased supervision is needed or other changes in lifestyle uh, are needed in that individual. I think the important take home message from this article is that mild cognitive impairment and mild dementia can't be ignored, that they do need to be addressed head on uh, in primary care and that they can be uh, successfully managed. I wish that we had better therapies for these disorders. We don't at this point. Uh, it's an area of very active research, but exactly when that research is going to deliver tangible benefits is something I can't predict. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter.
More information about health care at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.